Welcome, Pilgrim Patriots. It is time, once again, to announce the new members of Middle School ASB. Now, I know you may be thinking, wait, was there an election that I missed? And the answer is yes. You should check your email more often. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously, check your email every day. The truth is that for every ASB position this year, the candidate is running unopposed, which means they've all won. Yay, yay. A congratulations. Congratulations. Let's meet them. Hi, my name is Shailene. I'm in seventh grade. Hi, my name is Allison. I'm in sixth grade. We're both an ASB crew members. We attended to ASB crew members because I wanted to gather student engagement and positivity from Pilgrim School. I want to make fun, helpful activity to gather engagement. We will try our best to make our Pilgrim community better. Bye. Hi, I am Daphne Kim. I am a sixth grade representative. I wanted to join ASB because I want to represent my school and help Pilgrim become an even better place. I will become the bridge between my class and school and to my school and community. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Nico. And we're the sixth grade representatives. One thing I plan to do in ASB is to make Pilgrim more environmental friendly. One thing I plan to do in ASB is to make great call, grade calls so that we our community can stay strong in these dark times. If you have any ideas, please email Nico or me. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Lake Armstrong and I'm your eighth grade representative. Hello. And I am your eighth grade representative. Who <laughs> noticed you there? So, if you're watching this, uh, yes, I am your 8th grade representative. Uh, no, I'm not the president. I just contribute to the ASB community. Uh, where am I? You're on Diagon Alley. Speak up! I can't see you! Diagon Alley. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh no, it's Foxy! Charman and I'm the events coordinator in ASB. I look forward to making great events during quarantine, but still staying safe and working with my fellow crew members. Thank you. Hello, ni hao, oka, anyong haseyo, whatever language you speak, hi. I am Benjamin Edgar, your middle school ASB vice president. I ran for ASB because I had a lot of fun doing this last year and I'm bored a lot and like, I really wanted to get some more action in school to help out. So if you need any help from me, I'm here. Hello everyone, my name is Julian Collet. I am your ASC president this year. I really look forward to making Pilgrim School, both online and in person, a better and more fun place to be. Thank you for those lovely introductions, ASB members. In this year of 2020, it has never been more evident that participation in voting, elections, and politics is vital to shaping a community's history. To speak further about this topic, I turn to Pilgrim's very own, Mr. Barsky. Good afternoon, my fellow Pilgrim patriots. This is Mr. Barsky, and I'm thrilled to let you know that you have been given the gift of one of the greatest rights and opportunities that any citizen can have. You have the right to vote, and I would argue that you have the responsibility to vote. So many have died in the U.S. to create and defend our basic right. They gave up their lives because they knew that elections have consequences. They have an impact that can last generations. They knew that not voting meant giving up your voice. It is giving up your chance to make a better tomorrow for you, your family, and your friends. Did you know that in 2000, in the election between Bush and Gore, Bush won Florida 
5.009% of the votes cast in the state, or the equivalent of 537 votes. Had 600 more people voted for Gore in Florida in November, there could have been an entirely different president from 2000 to 2008. Because, Pilgrim Patriots, you are not quite 18, you cannot vote in the upcoming election on November 3rd, but you can vote in the upcoming Pilgrim elections. Remember, your opinions must be shared in a respectful manner, which reflects careful thought and sensitivity. Name-calling or rude statements only reflects poorly upon you and will result in disciplinary action. We must treat all of our fellow Pilgrim Patriots with love and respect. Your teachers and me expect and will tolerate nothing less from you. You will also be voting on some local Pilgrim referendums. Did you know that a Portland State University found that fewer than 15% of eligible voters were turning out to vote for mayors, council members, and other local offices? Low turnout meant that lo important local issues are determined by a limited group of voters, making a single vote even that much more meaningful. Your vote will make a difference for Pilgrim now and these great United States in the future. Be well. Thank you very much, Mr. Barsky, for your inspirational words about the importance of respectfully making our voices heard in elections of any kind. As we think about tonight's election and all of the changes that tonight's results will set in motion, we ask you to think about the kinds of leaders you want to represent you and about the kinds of leaders you wanna be in the world. Think about the kinds of leaders we're called to be tonight and maybe more importantly, the kinds of leaders we will need to be tomorrow. Regardless of tonight's decision, several members of Pilgrim staff have volunteered to facilitate discussions about the election results on Wednesday during lunch. Be on the lookout for an email from Ms. T with the invitation links to the post-election conversations. I highly encourage that you go so that you can hear what your fellow Pilgrimites are saying about the election and what their thoughts are on the future in general. Speaking of elections and sparking conversations, your fantastic ASB members have already started pulling together an activity that will ensure that students' voices are heard. Students are being given the opportunity to propose propositions to go on the student ballot in December. According to dictionary.com, a proposition is a suggested program or plan of action. Thanks for that definition, Professor. Is there something you wish Pilgrim had or didn't have? If you could change something about Pilgrim to make it a better place, what would you change? Think about both online and on-campus initiatives. For example, someone may think that Pilgrim should allocate some of its budget to improve the middle school courtyard, or you may wanna suggest some ideas for helping make Pilgrim more environmentally friendly. You may want to propose that each grade level gets a section of tables all to themselves. Now let's be clear, for this initial stage, just because you throw an idea out there does not mean it will automatically become a rule or will even make it onto the ballot for that matter. That's just not how government works. You will raise your issues, concerns, and suggestions, and your ASB members, your elected officials, will sift through your ideas to see what is within their power to put up to a vote. They will be working with Mr. Barsky and Mr. Grady to ensure that your voices, concerns, and suggestions are heard and, if possible, acted upon. ASB is opening a Google form today, from today until November 15th to hear all of your ideas for changes, improvements, events, or even anything that you want to stay the same. If there's something you really love about Pilgrim that you wanna make sure doesn't change, please include that as well. You can find the link to this form on the secondary Google Classroom page, posted at 10 o'clock this morning, and in Mrs. T's weekly letter starting this week. Please take advantage of this great opportunity to make a difference in your school 
and fill out this form with your ideas, suggestions, concerns, or praises. Thanks for listening, and ASB looks forward to hearing your voice.